I'll now show the dominant seventh chords on the Bossa Nova guitar chords sheet PDF that I hope you've downloaded. The first one is going to be a dominant seventh chord with the root note on the low E string. So let's play G7, and G7 is the same as G dominant 7. Usually we just don't say the word dominant. E, F, F sharp. G is the third fret of the low E string. G dominant 7th is first finger on the third fret of the low E string, second finger on the third fret of the D string, ring finger on the third fret of the B string, pinky in between them on the fourth fret of the G string. G7. Next I'll play a dominant 7th chord with the root note on the A string. Let's play C7, first finger on the third fret of the A string, and it's going to bar across so they can also play the G string third fret. Ring finger will play the fifth fret of the D string, and pinky is going to be on the fifth fret of the B string. C7, middle finger's on vacation, yeah. Next I'm going to play another seventh chord with the root note on the A string. Let's play D7. So we'll put the ring finger up on the fifth fret. The fifth fret of the A string is D. Okay, I'll put the fingers down in order. First finger is the third fret of the B string. Second finger is the fourth fret of the D string. Third finger is the fifth fret of the A string. Pinky finger is the fifth fret of the G string. D7. Next we'll do a seventh chord with the root note on the D string. Let's play F7. First finger will go on the third fret of the D string. Middle finger goes on the fourth fret of the B string. Ring finger goes on the fifth fret of the G string. Pinky finger goes on the fifth fret of the high E string. F7. Next we'll do a nice ninth chord that involves a little bit of a stretch with the root note on the low E string. So let's come up to A, the fifth fret of the low E string, and we'll play this ninth chord, A9. I'll put the fingers down in order so you can see. The first finger is on the second fret of the B string. The middle finger is on the fourth fret of the G string. The ring finger is on the fifth fret of the low E string, and the pinky on the fifth fret of the D string. A9. Next we'll do a ninth chord with the root note on the A string. C9. The first finger goes on the second fret of the D string. The middle finger goes on the third fret of the A string. The ring finger goes on the third fret of the G string. And the pinky finger goes on the third fret of the B string. C9. By the way, for this chord and for many of these chords, you can also use a bar when you have two notes right next to each other. So you could play this one with the third finger making a bar here. C9. Next we'll play a ninth chord with the root note on the D string. Let's play F9. First finger will go on the second fret of the G string. Middle finger will go on the third fret of the D string. Ring finger will go on the third fret of the high E string. And pinky finger goes on the fourth fret of the B string. F9. Next I'm going to play a 13th chord with the root note on the low E string. So we can put our first finger on the third fret of the low E string, second finger on the third fret of the D string, ring finger on the fourth fret of the G string, pinky finger on the fifth fret of the B string, G13, or you can bar first finger so that you play the low E string and the D string third fret with the first finger. Then you could use middle and ring or middle and pinky or even ring and pinky. You have a lot of options for those other notes. G13. Next I'm going to play a 13th chord with the 
root note on the A string. C13. First finger goes on the third fret of the A string to play the note C. It's going to bar across so that we can also play the third fret of the G string on the, with the first finger. And then ring finger plays the fifth fret of the B string. Pinky plays the fifth fret of the high E string. Middle finger's on vacation. C13.